Christianity is a relationship, it's not a religion. It, it's both a vertical and a horizontal relationship. The vertical is between you and your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and then the horizontal is between the people that you minister to. And, and the best way to build relationship with them is to be a part of their life. So I wanna share about three different people in my, my ministry and, and the different ways that I was uh, engaged with them in this horizontal uh, brother, sister, fellow believer relationship. There was this, this older couple in our church and uh, named Dale and, and Audrey. And they were on a fixed income and retired and I got to know them really well. They were very faithful to the church. And they lived down the street from the church and they volunteered to take care of the landscaping of the church. So I, I saw them a lot uh, on a weekly basis. And then uh, <clears throat> we just got to become friends. And, and I learned that through some health issues that Dale was having, uh, he was on a real strict, real strict diet, uh, especially on meats. He couldn't eat couldn't eat red meats, he could eat fish. Um, and I, I didn't quite understand this, but he could also eat rabbits as a protein. Um, but rabbits were like $7 a pound in the grocery store. And so uh, I loved to fish and I had two boys that I was teaching to fish. And so we'd go down to the lake and get my little boat and we'd go out and fish. We'd catch, you know, bluegill and, and catfish. And on the way home, we would stop and show Dale and Audrey, you know, these fish that, that my boys had caught. And I'd go home and, and, and fillet those out and clean those out. And then we'd go back to Dale and Audrey and we, we'd give him these, these fish because I knew that he could eat that as a part of his diet. And um, he would always offer to pay and I'd always refuse. And same with rabbits. Uh, whenever my buddy Larry and I were out rabbit hunting, uh, we we'd butcher some rabbits and, and give them to, to Dale. Or if I was at the livestock auction and they had rabbits, I literally could get a rabbit ready to butcher for like 75 cents. And so, you know, I would give those to, to Dale. And, uh, you know, giving fresh fish and fresh rabbits to Dale, uh, already butchered and prepared, was like giving this man a bag of gold. But it was more than just feeding his belly. You know, this was a relationship that we were engaged in and I was feeding our relationship and, uh, you know, as brothers in Christ, but, but as one of the pastors at his church, it just spoke deeply to, to Dale and to Audrey and I would never let him pay me, but Audrey was a retired baker and I got a sweet tooth that just won't quit. And so she would come down to my office with a, a pan of, of chocolate brownies with walnuts in it and this, this icing on top and oh my goodness, or she would show up with cookies or a cake or something to show her, her love and appreciation. But all that came out of just fellow believers engaging in a relationship. And, and then I remember when Audrey got sick and, and they had to call hospice in it and just sitting in in the room with Dale and and Audrey's there in the bed and and as as her body started to shut down and just spending hours and hours sitting next to my brother going through this journey with him and, and, and praying for for him and praying for her there was another guy in my life later his name was Bud man Bud was a character and uh, we just hit it off. We, he was much older than me. Um, we played some church league softball together and he had a pond on his property and he let me fish and I'd go out there and, and fish in the evenings and if he saw me, he'd come out and just, just sit on the shore with me and, and talk with me and hang out. And, and I'd go out and visit him and I'd take Justin over there to fish his pond and, and uh, they raised alpacas and so I just go out to the farm. I don't, I don't know nothing about alpacas, and, and he would teach me. And we'd see each other at church, and we'd do different projects together. And and Bud and I just got to be really good friends. And um, he got cancer, 
and uh, you know his wife, who's a, is a nurse, uh, amazing, amazing person. I, I love her to death. Uh, but you know she was she was a, a smaller statured woman, and so she struggled to move Bud from the chair to the hospital bed and so forth. And and one day uh, I, I just got a couple of teenagers from my youth group. They're football players. And we went out to see Bud, and, and his life was coming to an end, and uh, he needed to be moved. And, and these these young football players just picked him up and put him where he needed to be. But I think about the years I spent with Bud um, that opened that door to his final days that allowed me to come into the house and spend time with him and Brendan and allowed me to bring these boys in so that they could lift him and move him uh, and, and after he passed, Brendan and I stayed very close friends and, and I would go out and, and, and do some volunteer work on her hobby farm. And uh, she, she actually went to summer camp with us as our, our nurse for a week and, and started to volunteer with our youth group. But, but those things happened because we engaged in relationships and uh, was able to open some of those doors to do ministry. There was another uh, young girl in my life and and uh, her name was Andrea and uh, Andrea wanted to get baptized but she really didn't want to like do it in our church baptismal and, and have a bunch of people uh, you know watching her and, and I get that I respect that you know she's a young girl uh, Andrea came from a pretty big family and uh, this great family and, and the kids were growing up in, in my youth ministry and and I would sit and watch them from the stands and cheer them on. And I just go over to the house and hang out with the family. And it, it was a large family. And so the family decided that for Andrea's baptism, they were just going to baptize her there in the family's backyard in their swimming pool and have a big cookout and, and have all the family. When I say the whole family, I'm talking you know, 30, 40 people over. And they invited Ron and I to come. Andrea wanted me to baptize her. And that was just this special bonding moment between uh, not only her and I, but but uh, myself and the, this family. And we just hung out in the, the backyard and and the kids were swimming. And it came time and I got into the pool and, and I baptized Andrea. And, and then we just had this cookout and ate burgers and dogs and hung out as, as a family. Some of them blood related, but but all of us you know, related as Christian brothers and, and sisters. And uh, those all, all of those things that, that happened with Dale, and with Bud, and with Andrea is because I engaged in a relationship with them. Um, and, and that's what ministry is. It, it's about relationships. It's about sitting at the table with people. It's about visiting uh, where they work and, and going to their homes and inviting them into to your homes and just building relationship with them. And, and when you're engaged with somebody, and you're building a relationship, it just opens doors of opportunity for ministry. And and I think back to Dale and Audrey, and I think back to, to Bud, my friend, and, and Brenda, and think back to, to Andrea and her big family, and, and just cherish some of those memories. Uh, they're my brothers and sisters, but I cherish them because of the ministry that happened in, in our horizontal relationships I was able to point them vertically uh, to Jesus Christ. So keep your eyes wide open for relationship opportunities and within those relationships, opportunities for ministry.